And so what do we get now in Barack Obama? Well, I've got videos, by the way. This election, we're going to vet him. I've got videos. Well, I've got videos, by the way. This election, we're going to vet him. I've got videos. This election, we're going to vet him. From his college days to show you. <laughs> Why? To show you why racial division and class warfare are central to what hope and change was sold in 2008. The videos are going to come out. The narrative is going to come out that Barack Obama met a bunch of silver ponytails back in the 1980s, like Bill and Bernadine Dorn, who equally radical, said one day we're going to have the presidency and the rest of us slept while they plotted and they plotted and they plotted. Got some breaking news and some sad news out of California. Andrew Breitbart is dead at the age of 43. Died of natural causes late last night near his home or in his home rather near Los Angeles, California. Andrew Breitbart. Also, I had to find one time they wanted me to find um, to find out if there was such a thing as um, as a poison that was undetectable, especially one that seemed to uh, mimic a heart attack that would kill someone, but it would it appear that they had a heart attack. I did find such a thing. Does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman, and a special one was developed, which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. The, the poison was frozen into some sort of dart, and then it was shot at uh, very high speed into the person, so at, when it reached the person, it would melt inside them, and the only thing would be like one little tiny red dot on their body, which was hard to detect. There wouldn't be a needle left or anything like that in the person. But also the toxin itself would not appear in the autopsy? Yes, so that uh, there was no, no way of perceiving that the, uh, the target was him.